It's been about seven years since the first of Arkansas's two osteopathic medical schools began educating future doctors. And so far, Arkansas health care leaders say the schools are doing a fantastic job of addressing a shortage of medical professionals in the state. One of those, of course, in Fort Smith, planning to expand. Arkansas business editor Lance Turner joining us now. And Lance, how many students have these schools produced so far? Well, leaders of both these schools tell us they have been busy ed educating their first classes and sending hundreds of students into residency programs throughout the state. Arkansas, of course, has two of these osteopathic medical schools. There's the New York Institute of Technology's College of Osteopathic Medicine at Arkansas State in Jonesboro. It's going to graduate its fourth class in May, about 120 students. And for the past three years, that school, which began in 2016, uh, has produced at least 105 graduates per year. And then, of course, there's the, the Arkansas College of Osteopathic Medicine in Fort Smith. It's going to graduate its third class this year. It graduated about 150 students in 2021 and again last year. And those numbers are important because experts say that about 80% of doctors nationwide start practicing in the same area where they have been trained. Yeah, and the Fort Smith School you mentioned uh, is, is really a, a, a big part of a larger medical school, and it's growing its footprint in a really big way right now. Yeah, a lot of real estate happening in this story. Uh, the Fort Smith School is part of the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education. That comprises the osteopathic school, uh, a school of occupational therapy, a school of physical therapy, and a master's program in the science of biomedicine. CEO Kyle Parker tells us that in addition to the 200 acres of land at Fort Chaffee that it's already built on, the colleges has bought even more acreage and is working on a $30 million campus building with retail outlets and student housing, uh, and all of that is under construction now. It also, of course, purchased that 317,000 square foot former Golden Living facility for $5.8 million. It's renovating that facility as well. Uh, it's going to put in a 317,000 square foot, um, or rather a 60,000 square foot um, a research lab, a health and wellness center, and more in that massive structure. Yeah, and if you've not been out to the colleges, it, it's gorgeous out there. All right, we know it's seven years of study for future medical professionals. So what has been the impact of these schools so far in the state? There's a little bit of lead time, of course, because of all the education that has to happen. Happen, but so far, there are signs that Arkansas is improving when it comes to retaining physicians who get their degrees here. Uh, and we're counting the, the two osteopathic schools and also the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences. Parker says Arkansas now ranks fifth in the nation when it comes to uh, physician retention. So that's good. And David Roten, who is the president of the Arkansas Medical Society, uh, tells us that between the Jonesboro and Fort Smith schools, Arkansas how now has triple the number of medical school graduates than it used to. Uh, there are more to come. In fact, Fact, Parker says that the Fort Smith School saw 6,000 applicants for its 150 slots last year. So a lot of demand for this education. Wow, and it's only going to get better. All right, Lance, thank you so much for joining us as always. And of course, you can read more about this on ArkansasBusiness.com.